This must be what it's like to watch like Goku and Jiren battle. All We're right. just Gohan. We can't move at the speed of them. Did, Did he, he roll a nat 12? 12? Was that a 12? A nat 12. Mike, coming in hot. Okay, I mean, if there's a, <laughs> if there's gonna be a way to beat Triff, that's gonna be jokingly used loaded dice. That's my one joke. Okay, I was gonna say, is it gonna be one of those? <laughs> I've I've used all of them. All right, here we go. So Mike gonna start things off. Set two. That looked like a reveal of a danger. Obviously, it's hard to tell which one. Oh, it doesn't matter. There's the Ooh, Nessie. The Nessie. Snipes the Nessie out of the hand. Wow. Oh, okay, no. So okay, he had two. So, so he did Thunderbird miss. draws. I was gonna say Pendulum God and American Sniper. Is there anything he can't do? <laughs> He's just the complete package, isn't he? <laughs> so he's going to get the Bigfoot with this Nessie here. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm curious. I'm really curious to see, like, what the end board is now. Because obviously the Guard Dragons, in terms of Danger Thunder Dragon, it actually, you lose a significant amount of your negations. But, you know, you still got Colossus and stuff as well. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just curious to see what the new end Ooh, board is. Ooh, and he hits the Bigfoot. Hits the Bigfoot. That's, Ooh. that's a bit rough. No value there. He's going to set one. Is that going to be it? Oh, awful. Ooh. Oh, miserable. That is not good. That's, it's not what you like to see, folks. I'm curious what that set card is. <laughs> it's like we quickly just uh, switched that back to us. Apologies Thanks all. for that. Uh, that was um, a me problem. You can blame uh, Mr. Joseph for that one. But anyway, yeah. didn't miss too much here. I was momentarily encapsulated by the strength of Triff's opening hand. So play, Triff is playing Into the Void. So I actually really love Into the Void in Pendulum. Uh, Pendulum is one of those decks where you want to be playing... Uh, ironically as few cards as possible sure. and into the void lets you start with a 36 card deck plus upstart yes and it's also got incidental synergy with the endymion core i mean it's just incredible so he's gonna grab a jackal king from this uh trigger of master cerberus here then he can immediately just get that uh master cerberus back out with jackal king's effect in the scale of course triff just aiming to get those two monsters on the board for the electromite summon but you don't have to be mindful of the Biru dragon shrine so this is a ravine integral. excuse me an integral part of a significant amount of the new combos uh, that Triff's been debuting on his YouTube channel. Um, you can very easily send a copy of Tempest to the graveyard, uh, which allows you to make Vortex Dragon the old-fashioned way by stacking a couple of seven stars on top of each other. So we saw a Solemn Strike on the activation of Dark Worm. Ooh, seems reasonable. Uh, I don't love it, but I also don't hate it. Yeah, I kind of wish he would have maybe held it for a possible Electromite. Yeah. Yeah, or even the Pendulum Summon itself, because then he could have really just punished Triff there, because a lot of people don't really play Strike in this format. So and it turns out striking four monsters is... Is pretty good. Yeah, especially against Pendulum. So here comes the Jackal King, going to resurrect the Master Cerberus here. And he says a Judgment? A judgment. Uh, Ooh, don't I don't know think. if that's the yeah, way that works. I think he shotgunned that a little bit there. He was wanting to Judgment the uh, uh, the Summon, but because Jackal King's being uh, an effect that's summoning... Right. Uh, Solemn Judgment negates everything but monster effects, ironically. Correct, yes. So they're talking real quickly about the activation of the effect. And I don't blame him. Yeah. I don't have the fear of God in my eyes so at this point, too. Chronograph and scale, I mean, he's just got everything. I mean, yeah. now he's got another monster he can get to get to the Electromite. This is a little frustrating, though. Going into the Electromite's pretty bad when you know there's a Solemn Judgment. Yeah, set. it's difficult. So Chronograph going to come down now. Uh, go, or excuse me, uh, Master Endymion going to come down. Use Chronograph's effect to summon Time Gazer directly from the deck. Yeah. So the end board that includes um, this Dragon's Ravine... Uh, involves a card that we haven't seen a ton of. That's Dragoonity Knight Romulus. Uh, this is a card that doesn't do a whole lot for the deck outside of searching Dragon's Ravine. So likely we won't be seeing it this game, but check out for it game two. This is going to be tough because, like you said, I mean, obviously the the judgment would have mattered one way or another, but now that Trip knows the judgment exists... Ugh. Ooh, wow. Imperm. I, these are nice and, like, are styming. Triff's plays, but what does it really do? You know, uh, if Triff just goes to battle phase and eats the board, what does Mike have to draw in order to get out of this position? I think it's interesting to see a Danger Thunder deck that's playing traps. Right. Yeah. I wouldn't have expected that. I'm very happy uh, to see trap cards being represented. I really do appreciate stun, but not in the same deck as combos. Yeah. So looks like we're going to battle phase, and that's Brotar. Bro Yikes. Okay. So now that makes sense why he. Uh, Trip, you it. know what Brotar does. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he wants to double check the wording. Yeah. So Time Gazer going to hit over. I think Time Gazer is like 1200 attack. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes it's it attacks. Yeah. And so now Master mm. Service will should be able to clear Thunderbird. I think Master I think it Service crashes. Is, uh, is Thunderbird twenty? I thought yeah, Thunderbird they are was, both oh, twenty-eight. They are, you're right. They're twenty-eight. I thought Thunderbird was twenty-six. This so. is a weird position to be in because 
I don't even know if you want to send the Master Cerberus off to the graveyard here. Oh, Triff is going <laughs> to mirror Mike Ooh. Brady start, set a card and pass. Yeah. I wow, two combo <laughs> players staring at each other. Well, one of them has a judgment set on their field, so that kind of matters. Mike just passes. Mike pass. just passes. <laughs> he says, go. What are you going to do, make Electromite? I imagine Mike probably drew one of his uh, Thunder cards, perhaps, yeah. because if he drew, like, say, you know, a Roar or a Hawk, like, that does nothing in this instance. So it's interesting. Um, Mike definitely wants to draw some of the Thunders, but not all of them. Importantly, the dangers are also pretty off right now. <laughs> so now we see the Link Summon here. I mean, he pretty much just has to eat. I mean, he doesn't have to waste his Electromite. I mean, so, because obviously the, the misplay by Mike by preemptively shotgunning the Judgment, he could go into something else. And it looks like he is. And there's the Yazi is a yeah. card you do have to Judgment, unfortunately. Right, so that's going to be half, so that is going to be... Oh, uh, don't make me do math. 3250. 3250. Ugh. As far as I'm concerned, Judgment always costs 4000 And so here comes Dark Worm, because Triff, could Triff just finish him here? He only needs another 1450 worth of attack power. That would complete his scale, and that should be game. Yeah, all yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> Quick game one. Game two. We have 518 of you guys already in the stream. And who can blame them? <laughs> this is top-tier Yu-Gi-Oh! being played here today. Of course. New ban list, of course, for you guys joining us. Mm -hmm. So uh, obviously not the most impactful changes, but there's changes nonetheless. And so we're going to get to see what Mike can do here. Oh, he's allowing oh, he's ele Triff he's to, go to go second. So this is interesting. By forcing Triff to go first, likely Triff's hand includes a bunch of the reactive cards we were identifying from the extra deck. Ooh, and just shotgunning the dark right now. Okay. And Mike's hand might include those reactive cards that win him the, him the game immediately. Things like Super Polymerization, Dark Ruler No More, maybe even Nibiru. Interesting. If you are subscribed to the PPGYGO channel, oh, yes. you can ready your Nibiru emotes right now. So there's a Dragon Shrine. Shrine's going to send a Dark Worm. Man, Triff opening the uh, Dark Worm engraves both games. I don't think this is a Triff thing. This is just a Pendulum. Yeah, thing. I think so, too. I've, I've <laughs> never seen a Pendulum player fail to open this card. And so there is the Master Endymion with Duelist Alliance. You'll notice that he did not add the uh, Gate Zero to hand. <laughs> yeah, so we know where that is. It's in the Banished Zone. <laughs> Well, Pendulum Call is just about the most exciting an open is going to get from Triff. Ooh, and he drew the Dragon's Ravine again. That's rough. Is he only playing one? Oh, I assume. It's searchable he, off of Romulus. Yes, he's only playing the one. So that is a bit unfortunate, but, you know, he obviously has Pen Call, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. So he's going right. to go ahead and search out the Dragon Caller as well as the Purple Poison. Again, even though uh, Agrapain did get hit, LP is still viable, and we do see it in uh, Triff's extra deck here. I do like, uh, oh, it's signed. I do like the Dragon Caller. Uh, the addition of that to kind of the core Pendulum Magician lineup has been really interesting just to see how it can now navigate through all these incredibly powerful Guard Dragon lines without having to devote a lot of resources to really bad main deck dragons. Absolutely. Now, the, the question is, did Mike get any way to stop this from going off. Well, he's got like nine, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it, it's a beefy deck, but you put in enough super polymerizations, Dark Ruler No Mores, uh, and maybe Nibiru's, and you uh, see what happens. So we've had three summons so far? We have. Okay. Chad, can you please keep count? Okay, there's an Into the Void. Yep. Triff will have to send his whole hand to the grave. Not that that usually matters. <laughs> and there comes a Dragon Caller, plus the Master Endymion. So that will complete scales. Through the extra okay, deck so quick. there's five. And it includes oh, six. a Jackal King that right now doesn't have any counters. So if you have the Nibiru, now is the time. Yes, this would be the perfect time to use it. And it looks like he's just shuffling his hand to Triff and saying, go ahead. Nothing there. That was the opportunity. Oh, oh, let's see it. Ooh. Uh, didn't get a look at it. So there's the LP. Okay. I think, was that a Super Poly? If it is, I mean, that's pretty big. That looked like it. So this is going to be the Triple Burst. Presumably. He has a Destrudo in hand, though, so that's pretty good. Hmm. So he gets a free monster out of that Pendulum Summon there. So, so do we see burst. the Sided Tempest? That's the question. The problem is, Triff probably thought he was going second. Yeah. Or, excuse me. Uh, oh, yes, yes. He did think he was going second. So I do side in Tempest going second is the question. Or I do, do like no fear out of Triff, though. It's clear that even though he sideboarded to go second, he sideboarded so few cards that he was still able to access his linear game plan just deceptively easily. All right, so getting the Dark Worm out of the deck with LP's effects. Mm -hmm. 
Jackal King's still without counters. Keep that in mind. So, but For now. And the thing is, though, Mike hasn't, like, shown any sign of... So we can't go to Romulus here. It's got to yeah. be Spheres, right? Um, yep, I there believe it is. so, yes. Circles. And so, obviously, Agar Pain being gone, this is where you get to see it significantly. All right, there's 4,000 for the Destrudo. Yes, and here's the Dawn Dragster. So already have two negations. Jackal King would present a third. If there was a spell, it looks like he's it? just discarded yeah. his hand and passed. For Into the Void, yes. Chat, how many negates is that? Oh, uh, looks like one. Well, it's, it, it's going to be two as soon as a spell is activated, presumably. And it's a bounce, so it's three disruptions. Chat is particularly correct here. Um, Super Poly is terrible against this board. <laughs> Oh, so we're going to lead with a White Dragon Wyver Buster, Banishing the Dark, and wow, that's a power play. <laughs> oh, I hate that that trigger is dark. So now this going to get me. Vanilla Thunder to hand. He's going to pitch Vanilla Thunder Dragon. Now you get into this position against Pendulum that makes um, Hieratic Spheres, uh, where you're just trying to prompt the activation of Spheres so you can play the game normally. It looks like we're not there yet. He has a hawk, Ooh, a hawk in, in hand. hand. Oh, yes. so we're going to see the Colossus half of this deck, it looks like. Now, unfortunately, you know, going to battle might be his best option. <laughs> He's going to tribute, tribute for summon a roar. roar. He's now going to trigger the effect of white. And, ooh, this is a really tasty target for Hieratic get Spheres. The, get the Collapse Serpent. Mm. <laughs> Mercury Gin, one and a half. Thank you. <laughs> nice to see you here as well. Getting some decent value here, but he does still have to out this board. Jackal King with no counters, too. That's so unfortunate. Yeah. And I don't think Mike has any... Oh! <laughs> well, sometimes you just super poly your own cards. <laughs> he's going to take he's gonna the Jackal do. King. So Dark and the Jackal King going to fuse Yikes. for Venom Dragon. This will force spheres. Wait, was that a misplay? Why didn't they negate the super poly with Dawn Dragster? Team? Maybe, because Super Poly <laughs> is a fair Yu-Gi-Oh card and can't be responded to. Well, it's only a one, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> you wish. Uh, I do wish. <laughs> Please put it back. All right. So, Ooh, uh, and ear coming down? Here comes the boy. Okay. That's going to force the activation of Spheres here. He's yes. going to read Lev. Yeah, it's that broken. So Levy and you are going to come down. I'm not sure. I, he banished, I think, a variety of monsters here. So it's this a means light and two darks. That means he's like. going to get to pop. Oh, no effect? Oh, oh no. is he are we going to OTK? Is he just going to go for the OTK? Okay, we're going to Hawk. This is a pretty premature Hawk. Now if you bounce the Roar, we don't have access to Colossus, but yeah. I don't know how much it matters. Oh, is there more? We're going into the Collapse Serpent. Oh, we're just pushing for game. Well, he is at 4,000. Oh, that's true. Yeah, maybe he's just going for it. Um, so what do you bounce here? Uh, we're going to attack into the Dawn's the Dragster. There's with not the... a lot you can do. You're still taking a ton of damage. Yeah. Well, okay, you have to think, too. Spheres can also summon something. Oh, does he, any, does he have any targets left? I don't think so. The, well, no, the Destrudo's back in the deck. And oh, we that's know he true. plays Aether. Right. I was going to Spheres here. So, so right, Aether sure. could be the disruption here. Farf is correct. He's playing around Skullmeister. Smart. <laughs> that's tough. Chad, we have the deck list. Triff does have Aether. He's counting real quickly. Yeah, any two of these is going to add up to four, I think. We're going to bounce the Collapse Serpent. And then okay, Aether. there's Aether. Well, no, we're only, I won't have to fourth out because now he has more defenses. So what's the banish here? It's got to be Lev. Oh, he's going to banish Roar. Have we already roared this turn? I think we have. No, we haven't. Oh, did we? He just tribute summoned for it, didn't he? Hmm, did we not activate the effect of Roar Ooh. there? I think that would have won us the game, Doesn't Roar folks. summon in defense? Roar does summon in defense. <laughs> <laughs> it would have won us the game eventually. Dang, and suddenly this board is looking a little less exciting. So this is where we overlay for a rank 8? Yeah. Or link away so we can finally make that Colossus. Now the thing is, Trift does have his scales up. Does have scales, doesn't have a lot else going on. Mike has two cards in hand still. Oh, three cards. Oh, maybe they're all hand traps. Maybe it's Nibiru. He could have drawn it for turn, to be fair. Yeah. But remember, Triff did lose his hand to Into the Void. So he's just working with whatever's in his extra deck and uh, that one card that he drew. So oh. he's going to pen summon Aether. That will trigger its effect. That's a sweet pendulum. And summon. the Curtain Razor. Okay. So looking real quick at Starving Venom, uh, it's a question of whether 
it needs to be destroyed or removed from the field in order to destroy all of your opponent's special summoned monsters. And so he picks Levianir. I think that means that it's, it doesn't have to be destroyed. Looking at the extra deck real quick and says, ah, really nothing going. Uh, he's go He's going to pass. Yeah, he's got to play defense. That's a second That's a super second poly. Super poly. Oh, disgusting. Does he have another target or does he just play the one? Well, let's find out. Let's see. Mike Brady, he has... He has two Starving Venoms. Oh, so we could Starving Venom into Starving Venom? That'd be hilarious. <laughs> if we Super Polymerization, which is what he's doing... <sighs> All right. I think probably any monster does it at this point. Uh, right now, that Curtain Razor has, what, 2,200 attack? So if he activates the effect of Starving Venom, we should be fine. Oh, no, he's going to pop all the way off because he returned the Black Dragon Collapse Serpent to hand, which means he'll be able to trigger the Grave effect of... It looks like Hawk here, so which is magical mulligan. malleting. Yeah. But this could give him what he needs because now if he just gets any monster he can normal summon, he has game, right? Yeah. Ooh, that look... I saw, I saw Brown. Was... It was a monster. I mean, I mean, he is playing Danger Thunder, so he's playing. No, a, apparently, ooh, doesn't have game though. So three K. So it's going to put Triff down to a thousand life points again. Triff only just top decking at this point. He does have a scale still, but is that, that Starving Venom targeting anything? Was its effect activated? Who did it? I have no idea. Oh, no, this is this is a. Oh, it is a new one though. Yeah. Oh no, wait, could he have targeted? Does it have to target a level? I believe it has to target a special summoned monster. I thought it has to have a certain level. I'll have to check. Okay. Well, he's gonna pen summon Aether again here. That is gonna banish the Starving Venom. Are we just doing this every turn? And you're attacking into the Collapse Serpent. Well, at least he can get rid of it. Yes. So. And Aether's. Does anyone know what Aether's attack is? Aether's twenty three. Three or twenty four. And so now we're going to see a Spell Power Mastery grab a Servant of Endymion. Doesn't matter too much here because Triff's scales are filled up at the moment. He can set the Endymion as another line of defense. <laughs> Sometimes Ooh, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, Jackalope. Discard Jackalope. <laughs> Obviously wanting to get the Jackalope. Uh, it's a special summon here. Two cards in hand. Hits the Jackalope. Easy. Does get the special summon. And so here comes the Nessie. Now, Aether can't attack over Nessie, but the problem is this does give uh, Triff a little bit of a chance to come back here. Yeah, the gates are kind of open here. Any Wow, just setting oh, another boy. monster. Any Link 2 uh, is really going to just unlock the extra deck here, and there's a ton of relevant stuff in there. We've got Jackal Kings. We've got Jackal Kings. <laughs> I, don't, I do not think anyone was expecting this combo mirror to go like this. I yeah, won't. me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think there's been this much setting in Yu-Gi-Oh! since, like, 2005. So we can link away the Aether here. Got another Servant off the top deck. Excellent. So here comes the Beat Cop. Anything. And then Pendulum summon the Aether and the Jackal King from the Extra. And suddenly you're kind of staring down lethal if you're Mike. This uh, this could be a turning point here. That's just so unfortunate for Mike because you had it like so close. <laughs> and now oh, no. here we go. So Jackal King plus Aether. Aether going to banish the Nessie. A little shrug to Triff self. It's all right. Well, I suppose we take these. So now Triff just, uh, concerning his options in the extra deck here, he's going to, looks like he's going to link for four here. Obviously, he would have to flip up that Servant first, but that's fine. Well, he's going to go for Boral Sword. Sword. Looks like it will do it. Let's attack into that set card. Okay. No, this take a cool 6,000. It's only going to be 6,000. Yeah, so Mike has a chance here. What do you have to draw to get out of this? I <sighs> Poison of the old man? No, that only gains. <laughs> All right, you got to stall for time, that's dude. A oh, Dark Ruler no more. <laughs> that's and the Triff game. is going to go ahead and take it. So, yeah, his uh, round one. I mean, what really much is there to say? I mean, again, I don't think we exactly anticipated that that match was going to go that way. but um, I think we can call it now. Pendulum best deck. Um, <laughs>